No, we got to give you props too because you are keeping uh, an eye on this forecast. We are expecting some more severe weather tomorrow, that alert yes, day. Yes, yeah. so we're going to be busy yeah. kind of getting into the forecast even before the alert day. We already have the weather that's kind of keeping us busy because today we have a lake breeze. So though a lot of our temperatures are into the upper 40s, even popping 50 degrees in Toledo and Finley, this map is going to be looking different for the afternoon. As I fast forward through our hour by hour temperatures, you're going to find that lake breeze holds 40s right Right if along the lake shore for our communities there. If you're in southeast Michigan along the metro or where we have this green, you're going to find 50s. And then if you want the 60s of yesterday, you don't have to drive too far south. Fremont, Napoleon, Defiance, you'll find some 60s there. And then further south, maybe, just maybe, we could pop towards 70 degrees. But overnight, we don't have a big cool down. So we don't reach the 70s today. You will be finding that we have those for tomorrow. Even by lunchtime, we already have 70s. The thing to remember, though, is 70s on a weather day as far as some storms, this means that we have some fuel already at lunchtime for those strong afternoon thunderstorms, and we're going to hold that. But we will find at times as the as the thunderstorms through, they will drop us out of the 70s at times. It isn't until after six o'clock when we have the cold front that rolls through, and then we just erase all those 70s away. But what we're watching for this morning, just a couple of showers. Those are just sneaking through southeast Michigan right now, and then I'm also keeping an eye to a little bit of energy you're going to find off towards our west. A few showers and storms storms could sneak in later on today, even close to the afternoon and dinner time. Those severe weather not expected. It's Wednesday that we do have the alert date for the severe storm, so it's going to be in the afternoon and you will be finding that even in the morning we start out with a round of rain, but it's the strong storms. Here's an update if you haven't joined us yet this morning. We're updating that time frame to noon, so it will be from 12 p.m. to 8 p.m. that we see those stronger storms and really the biggest threats are going to be the damaging winds. We could see some straight line winds and even that tornado risk, it's not very high. It's actually on the lower end, but it's not zero either. So it's really going to be the wind component in these storms that are going to be the tough part and the severe part of them. As we go through today, I'm going to do today's forecast pretty fast. We'll have those a few showers and thunderstorms that I had mentioned earlier. But as we go into tomorrow morning, you'll find that rainfall to start the day. As we get close to noon, you will find that we start to see a few more of those vivid colors. So that's around one. You can see this here at three o'clock in our eastern counties. This is going to move through. Then we have a second round. This will be passing by just ahead of the cold front in the eight o'clock hour. So we have a couple of rounds of strong to severe storms to watch for Wednesday afternoon. Again, that time frame noon to 8 p.m. The biggest threats, wind gusts, that tornado. I wanted to show you it's on the low end of our scale and even that heavy rainfall. If you get caught under some of those thunderstorms, you're carrying a lot of water. So if you have your rain gauge out, you're probably going to notice that you pick up a lot if you see some of those thunderstorms roll through town. Once we get through the alert day, though, it goes pretty quiet here on our forecast. You are going to find those conditions. Those are going to be here. But even as we look ahead towards that full 10 day, I really want to show this one off because though we have a couple showers on Monday, that's not what's just grabbing my attention alone. It's 60s. I'm seeing a little more of a warmer trend as we go into next week. So once we get through the alert day. We have sun. We have more mild temperatures. We have a more spring like forecast coming great. as we get in there. So I'm starting to see some turns, but hopefully though tomorrow we just get through yeah. that. No problem. Of course, the weather team, we've been chatting mm -hmm. about it already this morning. We're keeping an eye to things.